Let's talk a little bit of line movements here, Teddy. SBRodds.com, best place on the internet to get those line movements. They're always changing. And an interesting one here, the Pirates line is now on the move. Checking out the SBRodds.com screen. Pittsburgh's going to have Keller. Detroit's going to have the lefty Norris on the mound. Opened up, Teddy, around 130, 132, depending on where you're shopping at. Now we're seeing that move into the 150s. The total, which was 8.5 earlier today, we're now seeing 9s pop up out there. Norris and Keller tonight for the Pirates and the Tigers. Yeah, the markets want no part of Bud Norris at this stage of his career. He's got the dreaded trio. There's a low strikeout rate, only 7.1 strikeouts per nine. He has a high walk rate, and he has a high fly ball rate slash low ground ball rate. And you put those three together, low strikeouts, high walks, low ground balls, guess what? The money's going to come against him. And, of course, the Tigers aren't exactly a team that's drawing a ton of market support anyway. Just 3-11 and in their last 14 games. Worth noting for Keller who's been ugly in his first two starts, but opponents have hit 472 against him in those two starts. One would expect something of a regression to the mean coming for Mr. Keller in his third MLB outing. Teddy, tonight Boston flips to a favor versus Minnesota. Nice pitching outing, a back-to-back nice pitching outings uh, yesterday for the Boston Red Sox start. If we take a look, price moves to a minus 119, Teddy. Boston was getting plus 105, plus 106 around those markets at SBRodds.com. Now we're seeing the shift there, a total of 9.5. Can Boston keep those bats quiet like Porcello did last night and continue tonight? Price versus Pineda on the mound. Yeah, the Red Sox, you know, showing signs here in June. Uh, And, of course, when we talk about David Price, uh, taking money, a strikeout rate still there, more than 10 strikeouts per nine. His Babbitt batting average on balls in play, the Babbitt is well over 300. So the market is expecting that to get better for Price. But more than anything, this is against Pineda. <laughs> you know, they've been betting against Pineda regularly. His strikeout rate is way down. His ground ball rate is way down. And I know that he's allowed three runs or fewer, or he had allowed three runs or fewer in six straight starts prior to his last outing when he got, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Uh, not so hot, but it's also worth noting Minnesota on a two game losing streak. The twins haven't lost three in a row all year. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting game to take a look at. How about this one, Teddy? Last night, if you're taking a look at those Dodgers thinking, oh man, what an easy one we have lined up with Beatty. Well, Kid pitched pretty well on the mound. Kenta Maeda goes down 3-2 to two loss. Now you're going to come back today. Another heavy favorite. And L.A., Teddy, opened up around minus 270 at SBRodds.com. And now it's been down to around 225, 230, depending on where you're shopping at a total of 7.5. It's Anderson versus Kershaw. Teddy, something you talked about earlier. Something's up here with these Dodgers bats, man. We're smoking hot for a long time. Now coming back down to that median there. Yeah, a little bit for sure. And there are definite concerns about Kershaw today, hence some of the San Francisco money. Here's Kershaw's last outing against the Cubs. Quote, this is from Dave Roberts, the Dodgers manager. It was a little bit of a grind. I appreciate the way he continued to find that curveball, but just couldn't get the feel for it. But like he seems to do many times over, it's just make pitches when he needs to. Kershaw, you know, survived through that game. He doesn't have the velocity that he had uh, a few years back. You know, yes, he's gone at least six innings in every start this season, but, you know, Giants bullpen's been solid, and as we talked about, uh, San Fran and, and the youngster Anderson getting the hill, uh, getting the start uh, today uh, for uh, the Giants. You know, two and one, three point nine seven ERA. He's just his seventh career start, but he's been good over the course of the month of June. Uh, and you know, last time out against the Padres, two runs, four hits, six innings, six strikeouts. Giants won that game. San Fran playing better ball, and the market's respecting that with the current line move against the Dodgers.